Hi guys, Sinza here and welcome to another Shadowlands Alpha video. In this video I'm starting a new series where I look at different anima powers for different classes and specs in Torghast and see which ones would be cool as legendary effects or talent changes or just something to be used outside of Torghast. So first we're going to start off this series with the Windwalker Monk. Now there are a lot of anima powers and it's possible that I might have missed some really good ones because it's just random which ones you get. So if you happen to know of any cool ones that I don't talk about um, in this video then go ahead and leave a comment so then we can kind of have a discussion on what other types of effects would be cool. So starting off, we're going to go over Hit Scheme. I do not have Hit Scheme currently on this run, but it makes your Blackout Kick deal... Um, it makes your Blackout Kick increase the damage of your next Keg Smash, Rising Sun Kick, or Fist of Fury by 25%, and it stacks up to four times. Now, this is made so that all specs are able to use it, um, but because of that, Windwalker Monk also will you know, they can benefit from either increasing their Rising Sun Kick or Fist of Fury. If I were to put that into a legendary effect, for instance, or even a talent, um, though I think it would be a good legendary effect, I would, personally, I think I would like it to only affect uh, Fist of Fury. Because you're going to be using Rising Sun Kick um, a lot more often, and it's going to be, because of the cooldown reduction for Blackout Kick, it's, it's going to be pretty unlikely that you'll actually be able to get that stacked up as much as you want. Plus, um, you're going to want that extra 100% damage on Fist of Fury over Rising Sun Kick. So, I think if you only make it affect Fist of Fury, you'll be able to get those four stacks each time, and your Fist of Fury will just hit really hard. So I think that would be um, a pretty cool effect. Now, the next effect is... Um, another one that I do not have, but it's really great. Uh, it doesn't really affect damage, but it's it's a really cool like movement and uh, utility type of thing. So what it does is, whenever you roll, it'll automatically cast Tiger's Lust. Um, so what will happen is, if you have Tiger's Lust ready to be used and you roll, it'll automatically cast it and it'll go on cooldown. However, even if it's on cooldown, when you roll again, it'll cast it and it'll just reset the cooldown. So you're able to keep rolling and getting Tiger's Lust frequently. So that's, you know, it's usually a 30 second cooldown. That's a pretty huge movement buff. Even if it's on cooldown, it'll cast it for you. So that is really great. I mean, monks already have great utility, but being able to constantly get the Tiger's Lust, not only that, you know, it removes roots and snares and increases your movement speed. So. It's, you know, that would be a very good one. Now, the next one is another uh, rolling ability, which I actually have, um, which I will show you. is called F Flowing Like the Chi. And what that does is whenever you roll through an enemy, it'll automatically cast Chi Wave, and which is really good because even if you don't have Chi Wave, because I do not have Chi Wave talented currently, it'll still cast it through them. And that includes, you know, because Chi Wave, so just in case you don't know, Chi Wave does damage. It's it's a wave of Chi that goes through enemies and um, friendlies, and it'll deal damage to enemies and then heal friendlies, and it bounces um, up to seven times. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that real quick. Roll through here, and you'll see the, the waves. And it looks really cool because you just, you know, you see multiple waves going through there. Um, so you can see how that's, that could be pretty strong. Um, you know, that's the situation where you would actually, um, even though, well, Tiger's Lust is just really good, but, you know, there would be an argument to use um, the roll talent to reduce the roll cooldown in the maximum charges, because you'd be able to use Chi Wave more often. So I think that's a pretty cool one. It's both defensive and offensive, uh, so that's why that's on the list. Now, the next one is called Amplified Samples. Now, this one... Between this one and um, the my favorite one, it's it's kind of hard to say which one would be better. But amplified samples is pretty interesting. What it does is whenever you use a tiger's palm, it'll apply an additional stack of Mystic Touch. And for those that may not know, Mystic Touch is the um, debuff that monks can put on enemies. It increases the physical damage taken by five percent. So when you use tiger's palm it'll automatically apply additional stack of Mystic Touch for four to five seconds. Um, so I'll go ahead and use that as well. 
if you look at the enemy up here you'll see there's another mystic touch so there you know it makes them take 10% more physical damage instead of 5% now that's really huge and for overall effectiveness depending on if they increase the length of that that would potentially be the strongest legendary effect so I have I have mixed feelings about that one it's really cool and it would be great for the group but with you know only being able to have one legendary um, you know equipped that would almost be mandatory because you're gonna help out the entire team uh, you know your entire group your entire raid much more and it's it's just not as interesting as some of the other effects but it would be incredibly strong now and then the last one that, I, that I'm gonna go over is called uh, Rushing Tiger Strikes, and this is my favorite one because it basically makes Tiger Palm into a charge. So for I have three stacks of it. With one, with just the baseline, it increases the range by five yards, and then it deals damage in additional time. So with three stacks, it increases the range by 15 yards, and uh, deals damage three times. So you'll be able to see. Yeah, it just charges in and then does the extra damage. So it's really cool. Um, obviously, it, you you would have to balance it to decide what is the best way to do it. Um, I don't know the damage scaling. They would have to figure that out. But I do think 15 yards is a good um, is a good range. Anywhere between 15 and 30 yards, I think, because it's just really fun using that tiger uh, tiger pawn to just rush in on an enemy now it doesn't have to necessarily deal damage that many you know three additional times is kind of a lot but even if it's just like an additional time i think that would be a really cool legendary effect and if that was based on the powers that i that i've seen so far if that was um a legendary effect that would probably be one of the first ones if not the first one that i get um so one more thing i wanted to mentioned with rushing tiger strikes potentially in order to kind of keep the legendary interesting um, if they did amplified samples for instance where you apply the additional mystic touch they could actually roll that into the rushing tiger strikes kind of combine them into one legendary you know make sure it's not too overpowered but that way you can um, you can maybe just do damage one additional time or not e not even do a damage additional time just give it the charge effect where you just charge in and apply an additional um, stack of mystic touch I think that would be a very great legendary would be powerful it would be unique and I don't think too overpowered especially if it's considering Tiger Palm has a cooldown if they did that um, they could keep it at like the four to five seconds um, though I do think that it would be um, better to yeah I think it's I think it is like four seconds because I've, I've noticed whenever I use Tiger Palm to get that buff and then I try Fist of Fury right afterwards I don't I'm not able to get an entire Fist of Fury cast so I think if I think maybe they did it like five to six seconds then that would be good and increases the entire party's damage and it's just it's you know it's really good I think it's a really cool um, idea for a talent I mean a legendary so those are the top five um, anima powers that I think would be cool legendary effects or talents if you like the video and this new series please give a like and subscribe um, for future videos and leave a comment on what you think because you know I really like tour gas and I really would like to explore some more but I'd like to know what um, you guys think about it and as always, thanks for watching.